Hello and welcome. This is Nate with Nate's Manufactured Home Tours. Today we are going to take a tour of this home called the Cascade at Patty Siemens Homes in Kalispell, Montana. I'd like to thank you for clicking on the button, or clicking the video I should say. I'd like to remind you to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, click that notification bell. It helps the videos perform better and we appreciate it here. Once again, this is Nate with Nate's Manufactured Home Tours. And we'll walk around the outside here. Sorry, they got a bunch of trees in the way. A few things like that. So it makes it a little more difficult to uh, get a good uh, video of the outside. But I'll do the best I can here. Stepping on inside, first thing you'll see is the living room here. We've got a little entertainment center built in over there. As you can see, you've got a good sized kitchen, decent sized dining room over there with a sliding glass door right off your dining room. Be great for building a porch outside there. And come over here, see if we can get a better look at this living room. There again, you can see you've got that. Uh, uh, entertainment center kind of built in there so now as you can see this home isn't fully trimmed out you can see where the seams in the walls would be of course, once it's trimmed out, you won't even notice it, that those are there. And taking a look here at the uh, dining room, you can see you've got room for a good sized table. And you do have this big built in island here, room for three. So of course, you'd have to get some bar stools instead of those type of seats. And you got uh, some storage space here, a couple cabinets. You can see inside here you've got plenty of room for all your pots and pans or whatever else you decide to throw in there. All right, take a look at this cupboard here. You can see it's got not the biggest area for storage but uh, is nice and deep so you can still store plenty of food in there as you make that your pantry area. This home does come with the black Whirlpool appliances. Of course, they'll be brand new when you buy the home. And as you can see, they've got a nice backsplash. Runs all the way up to the bottom of your cupboards there, all the way around your window. Get a nice farmhouse sink there. I think that's better sink than having the two smaller ones. At least you can fit your pans in there, especially your bigger ones. And then we've got fully adjustable shelves. see what we got in here looks like you could either use this for a pantry or a linen closet either way right off your kitchen dining room area slash living room area it's like I said you could either make that a pantry or you can make it a linen closet 
And checking out the bathroom here, I do believe we've got a square porcelain sink. I like the square porcelain sink much better than the round ones. I don't know why, it just seems to add a better look to it. We've got the one piece shower tub combo. Just your standard shower head in there, but uh, looks like a decent sized tub. Not your standard little oval one there, it's got a little bit of a kick out there to give you more space if you want, decided you wanted to soak in the tub. Right, step on across the hallway over here into this first bedroom. This bedroom is going to be 10 foot 2 by 12 foot 10. Don't mind the trim materials in the bedroom here. Like I said, this home isn't fully trimmed out. Let's kind of take a look around here and uh, just kind of try to give you an idea. I realize that uh, this camera doesn't do the best for trying to show how big things really are. Sorry to spend a little too much time trying to show the closet, so I just kind of speed it up here a little bit. And out here in your hallway, you've got a little coat closet right off the uh, utility room, which is off to the left there. I'll we'll go check out this bedroom here first. This room's just slightly smaller at 10 foot by 12 foot 10, so only a couple inches smaller. And this closet's going to be the same size as the last bedroom. Let's kind of give you just a quick look here. This one doesn't have all the stuff in it, so you might get a little bit better idea of the size. And directly across from that room, you've got a little closet here with some sliders on it. This area can be optioned into a, like a desk area instead. Not to say office, but you could put a computer desk here instead with some cupboards above you or cabinets, whichever you like. And then we've got our laundry room slash utility room. And you got some cupboards above where your washer and dryer is going to go so you can store all your cleaning materials, keep them out of sight. Once again, we do happen to have trim supplies all over the place, so I uh, can't quite show you the furnace area there. And you got a place to set like shoes or whatever to dry or just to set them out of the way, set your knickknacks over there. You can build a garage right off the back here, there was a back door there. Take one quick look around here at the kitchen again, and then we'll head on over into the master bedroom. You know, we've always got to save the best for last, because we know that's what you guys like to see the best. The most is the uh, master bedroom, master bathroom. It's where we as the adults are going to be spending the better part of our time anyway. So as we come in here, this bedroom is going to be 14 foot 6 by 12 foot 10. Got some transom windows above, so you got plenty of natural light in the morning. Help you wake up a little bit. Now let's come over here see if I can get you a better shot of this bedroom. See if I can show you exactly how big it really is. So once again, this camera does not show sizes the best. When I get the wide angle camera, it'll do much better at showing the uh, actual sizes. As we come into the bathroom here, you can see we've got the square porcelain sinks, dual vanity mirrors, you've got the recessed lighting up above. Oops, I kind of missed that. You do have a stack of drawers there in the center between your sinks to put all your stuff in. How you can keep everything looking nice and neat. And we got the wife's favorite. You got the big soaker tub. Let her come in here, soak the day away. Maybe she'll be a little more friendly towards the end of the day. 
and coming over here we've got the uh, one piece shower com or not combo just a one piece shower you can get this option in as a tile give you I think a little bit better shower a little bit more space in the shower when you do the tile and then over here <coughs> we've got our uh, walk-in closet you know, this closet's not the biggest but uh, you can add a few more racks in here if you wanted to give you a lot more hanging space you know personally for me the closet is uh, plenty big I wouldn't even be able to fill this closet with everything I've got now you ladies on the other hand you probably need about three times that closet so as we head on out of here we'll go ahead and wrap this up once again, I'd like to thank you for clicking on the video. I'd like to remind you to hit that like button, hit that uh, subscribe button, hit that notification bell. It does help the videos perform a lot better. Once again, this is Nate with Nate's Manufactured Home Tours, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot. Bye.